Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. On uh, this segment, we're gonna talk about how Iron Mike Tyson would have done in MMA. Would he have been successful? Could he have been champion mixed martial arts as well? Let's talk about it. Mike Gerard Tyson is a legend in the sport of boxing. He's one of the most vicious and savage boxers to ever do it. One of the greatest of all time, in my opinion. He was the youngest heavyweight champ at 20 years old. That record still holds today. Tyson held the WBA, the WBC, and IBF titles, and the only heavyweight to unify them. He's an inductee in the International Boxing Hall of Fame and the World Boxing Hall of Fame. Those are just some of Tyson's accolades in professional boxing, and not even touching what he did in the amateur scene. He retired from boxing after 58 fights, 50 wins, 44 wins via KO, 6 losses, 2 no contests. Mike was considered a smallish heavyweight at 5'10", with a 71 inch reach. Mike would compensate for his height and reach deficiency in the heavyweight division by utilizing superior movement, bobbing and weaving to avoid punches, getting in the inside to land a knockout punch. Superb boxer are what he did, brilliant actually, and like I said, complete savage. I believe the hardest puncher in boxing history. Now with all that being said, could Mike Tyson have done well in mixed martial arts? Well, there's many ways to answer this question in many layers. Would it be a jump from his prime while he was boxing to MMA? Is it starting MMA from scratch with no boxing in the picture? Are we talking modern day MMA or mixed martial arts back in the day, early UFCs? So if Mike tried to make the jump while he was in his prime and still boxing, he wouldn't have been as successful compared to if he started MMA from scratch without boxing in the way. Let's say an 18 year old Mike Tyson walks into a local mixed martial arts gym, clean slate, with his genetics and his athleticism, his natural power, you definitely 100% have a heavyweight champion in mixed martial arts in the making there, especially in the early UFCs. Guys were very limited back then, they were mostly one dimensional, and truthfully, Iron Mike without much cross training, if you did throw him in there with just boxing training, he would have beaten most guys in the early UFCs. Minus heavy grapplers. Hoist Gracie certainly could have beaten Mike Tyson, but it's also very possible Mike with a limited to no ground game could have obliterated Hoist Gracie back in the day. And that's just due to his raw power, his physicality, his tenacity, and his strength. Puncher's chance, but a great puncher's chance. Once it hit the mat, however, it would be over. Hoist would eventually secure the submission, no doubt. But getting back on track, how about this scenario? Mike Tyson in his prime, hopping over to modern MMA. How long would he need to train in mixed martial arts to be successful? Could he be a champion? Yes, I believe he could. Mike the devastating boxer would need at least, at minimum, one year of takedown defense training, drills to get back to his feet if it hit the mat, leg kick defense, kick defense in general, training how to deal with the tricks in a clinch like elbows, at minimum one year and he could definitely do some damage even in modern MMA. You don't have to be the best grappler, you don't have to be the best wrestler, he wouldn't have to really incorporate kicks, just know how to deal with them. It would be somewhat like the Chuck Liddell approach. Even though Chuck had a heavy background in college wrestling, that did really help him, he was a great wrestler. Chuck pretty much practiced not being taken down, getting back to his feet if he did get taken down, and just keep the fight standing. That's pretty much what Iron Mike would have to do. And with his punching power and four ounce gloves, he would put a lot of heavyweights to sleep. Not to mention his boxing skill standing. But that's Iron Mike. Not every boxer is Iron Mike Tyson. He was a physical freak and specimen. Now with one year minimum MMA training, his elite boxing skill set and skills, I'm not saying it's a foregone conclusion he would be champ, but he would do a lot of damage, beat a lot of guys in devastating fashion, and he could be champ. All it takes is one well-placed shot, and that's all she wrote. If Mike didn't take it serious and didn't practice takedown offense, didn't work on any ground game, nothing defensively, worked on nothing defensively standing, he would get annihilated in a cage against most decent heavyweights. That's pretty much just how it is. A smart fighter wouldn't even engage him standing. They would rush him, tuck their chin, cover up, get the body lock, slam him to the mat, or shoot him with a power double. Once on the ground, he's gonna get ground and pounded through the floor and submit it with ease. And that's how it would go nine times out of 10 for any boxer that steps in a mixed martial arts cage with no real training in MMA. That's not a knock on boxing at all. Boxing's amazing, it's the sweet science. On the flip side, you can take a mixed martial artist, even a guy who's really good with his hands, put him in a boxing ring with an elite boxer, 
and they will also get destroyed. That's pretty much the way that goes. But I think the domination would be greater for the boxer stepping into the mixed martial arts cage. There is just so much to mixed martial arts, it's insane. Even the cardio is different. There's striking cardio and there's grappling cardio. If you're not accustomed to wrestling or grappling, one to two minutes of that and you are dead in the water, completely gassed out. But going back to Iron Mike, a limited Iron Mike fighting in the early UFCs with not much of a ground game, would have still done pretty damn well in those early UFCs. In modern day MMA, Prime Iron Mike, with about one year of mixed martial arts training, would also win some fights in the UFC against some pretty good heavyweights. Anything less than one year of full dedication, he would lose pretty badly more often than not. Mike starting from scratch, fully dedicated to the sport of mixed martial arts, could absolutely 100% be a world champion in the UFC, past or present. These are just my thoughts on the matter. You guys let me know how Iron Mike would have fared in mixed martial arts. Would love to read those opinions. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, like the video, share. Appreciate you guys. And until the next segment, take care.